the highest paying math degrees. That's what we're gonna be talking about today, but before we jump into that, let's make sure to gently tap the like button in order to defeat the evil YouTube algorithm. On this channel, we talk about personal finance, college degrees, careers, and opportunities that will lead you to success, and we also go over how you can avoid some of the common traps that so many people fall for. If you're new here and that sounds like something that interests you, go ahead, hit the subscribe button, and ring the notification bell if you haven't done it already. Now, with that out of the way, let's jump right into it. Today, we're gonna to be talking about the highest paying math or mathematics related degrees and majors. Now, I've already made several videos talking about the best and the worst math degrees where I go over all kinds of different factors from job satisfaction to salary to future growth and all kinds of things like that. That's not what this video is gonna be about today. Today, we are going to be just focusing on salary. We're gonna be talking about the degrees that have the highest salary. Or in other words, the degrees that will lead to careers and jobs that tend to be the best paying. So let's talk about the first one on the list. Number 10 is going to be a straight up mathematics degree. Now mathematics degrees compared to a lot of the other ones we're going to be talking about today are going to be a little bit more theoretical and pure. So it's basically like pure mathematics. This is different than something like physics or engineering, which would be more on the side of being applied mathematics. Now with the math degree, you can expect to make around $59,000 a year in the first five years after graduating from college. And then after 10 years, also known as mid-career pay, you can expect to make $103,000 a year. Now there's a ton of different jobs that you could go into. One of them would be a operation research analyst, and they make around $84,000 a year. There's 105,000 jobs available. It's growing at a ridiculous 25%, which is much faster than average. That means during the next 10 years, there's gonna be 26,000 new jobs that pop up. Now you might be thinking to yourself, operations research analyst, what does that have to do with mathematics? And that kind of is the problem with math related degrees. Math overall is very valuable to learn, but the problem with a pure mathematics degree is it's just a little bit too theoretical. It can be a little hard to apply it to the real world as opposed to a more practical degree like engineering. That's why you might have a little bit of a problem getting your very first job right after you graduate from college. So you probably wanna get some internship experience or some on the job experience while you're in college. But overall, there are a ton of jobs out there for math majors. And to be honest with you, it's one of the most respected degrees. I would still recommend starting with the end in mind, making sure that you know the exact career that you're going for, and then reverse engineering exactly how you're going to get there. Taking some statistics classes or programming classes might be a good idea just because of the fact that they're a little bit more practical and easier to apply to the real world. A lot of math majors and honestly just math related degrees in general will end up working in the technology industry as computer programmers or software engineers. And that's honestly not such a bad thing because the tech industry has a ton of opportunity. Next one on the list, number nine is going to be a statistics degree. So statistics is all about collecting lots of data from the real world and analyzing that data, usually in a small proportion and figuring out how you can take a small proportion of the data and extrapolate that out to the wider population. You can then use the conclusions that you reach from that data to make very important decisions in real life. This one has a lot of overlap with mathematics, but it is a little bit more practical. Now with a statistics degree, you can expect to make around $63,000 a year in the first five years and then $114,000 in mid-career pay. Now you could go down the path of becoming a statistician and you'd be making around $92,000 a year. There's 45,000 jobs available and it's growing really fast at 33%, which means there's gonna be about 15,000 jobs popping up in the next 10 years. However, unfortunately, you're also going to need to get a master's degree in most circumstances circumstances. But it's okay because there are a ton of other career paths that you can go down with a statistics degree. You could become a data analyst and work in the financial sector. You can become a software engineer. You can start working with information and data. Number eight on the list is going to be a physics degree. Now physics is going to be the science and the study of the nature of matter as well as energy. There's going to be a ton of mathematics involved and it's going to be more applied type mathematics so it's a little bit more practical. With a physics degree you can expect to make around $62,000 a year in your first five years after graduating and $113,000 in mid-career pay. Now, if your goal is to become a physicist, that's definitely one path you could go down. They make around $122,000 a year. There's 20,000 jobs available. It's growing at 7%, which means there's gonna be 14,000 new jobs popping up in the next 10 years. 
However, one big problem here is you likely will have to get a graduate level degree like a doctorate or a professional degree. But there are a ton of other paths that physics majors can go down. A lot of them will end up working in the technology industry just like a lot of the other math degrees. And overall, physics is just a highly, highly respected degree. Companies know that if somebody is able to graduate with a physics degree, they're pretty much like a borderline genius. And so even if you don't know the exact skills that they want you to know, they'll hire you just based off of your brain power alone. This is actually a very common practice with hiring managers in the financial industry, for instance. A lot of companies have the philosophy that they'll just hire the smartest possible people, and then later on, they'll teach them whatever skills that they want them to know. So physics majors get hired all the time in finance, technology. Different companies will hire them for like business-related careers that involve some mathematics. It might be a little bit difficult for you to get your first job right out of college, especially if you haven't done your research and your due diligence. But once you get your first job, you get a few years under your belt, it should be very easy for you to get many jobs after that. Number seven on the list is going to be applied mathematics. Now this is what I was talking about before. It's basically exactly what it sounds like. It's mathematics, but it's applied to real life problems, real world problems. So it's a lot more practical than some of the more theoretical type mathematics that you might study in university. Now this is also a very rare degree. Not that many people graduate every year with an applied math degree. And so that might be throwing off the statistics just a little bit, so keep that in mind. With this degree, you can expect to earn around $64,000 a year starting off, and mid-career pay is $115,000 a year. Now, there are so many different occupations that you can go for involving mathematics as well as technology, and so BLS, for instance, shows the average of all these different mathematical or computer-related careers, and they show that there is a very, very good set of numbers here. So there's like 4.3 million jobs available, and the mean annual wage is $91,000 a year. That's like twice what the average American makes in a year, so uh, that's pretty good. You could work in the finance industry, you could become an actuary, you can go into programming, you can work in business. Next one on the list, number six, is going to be computer science and overall just technology-related degrees. Now, I could have put other technology-related degrees on this list, but I basically just wanted to keep it really simple. Computer science and some of the other technology-related degrees are going to have quite a bit of math in them, so I decided to add it to this list. And at the end of the day, they're gonna be competing for a lot of the same jobs as well, so it makes sense. But computer science, for instance, you're gonna start off making around $70,000 a year, and mid-career pay is gonna be 116,000. You could become a software developer, for instance. They make around 107,000 a year. There's 1.4 million jobs available. It's growing at 22%, which is insane. That means over the next 10 years, there's gonna be 316,000 jobs that pop up. Now, computer science is one of my my highest rated degrees. It's definitely one of the best degrees out there. There's so many different career paths you can go down. There's lots of opportunity in the technology industry. Technology, software, AI, automation is pretty much disrupting every single industry out there. So you can pretty much work for whatever business or whatever industry you want to. You can also combine your computer science degree with all kinds of other types of skills. For instance, computer science would go amazingly well with a finance degree or an accounting degree. It's just a fantastic degree overall. I made an entire video on it because I thought it's one of the best. Number five on the list is going to be economics and mathematics. So this is two different degrees combined, either in a double major or a combined major. And so basically this one is gonna be economics. You'll be studying the economy and how money flows through a nation, but it's also gonna be combined with pure mathematical technical skill. So a lot of the time economics doesn't have quite as much of the mathematical skill that you're gonna need in the real world for a lot of the jobs out there. So combining these two is gonna be great. So with this combo, you can expect to make around $65,000 a year starting out and $121,000 in mid-career pay. Now, one career path you could go down is you could become an economist, for instance, and they're going to make around $105,000 a year. There's 20,000 jobs available. It's growing really fast at 14%, which means there's about 3,000 jobs popping up in the next 10 years. Unfortunately, to become an economist, you'll likely have to get a master's level degree. However, there are a ton of other options out there for you. You can go into finance for instance, especially with the math skill that you have from your math degree. You can go into some of the more math heavy types of business related careers like data analysis or supply chain management. You could also become a software developer and use your economics and mathematics skills to help you with that. There's a ton of options here and I'm not surprised at all that this one made it so high on the list. The next one is actually extremely similar and that's gonna be quantitative economics or econometrics. So this one is gonna be economics mixed with 
math, but it's gonna have much more of an emphasis on the statistics side of things. So with this one, you can expect to make around $60,000 a year starting out and then $123,000 a year in mid-career pay. There's a ton of different career paths you could go down with this one as well. One of them would be a financial manager. They make around 129,000 a year. There's 697,000 jobs available. It's growing at 15%, which means in the next 10 years, there's gonna be 108,000 jobs that pop up. That is amazing. So basically all the jobs that I just talked about with the last one would be options for you here. Again, economics is pretty good on its own, but you wanna make sure that you also beef that up with some math related skills, maybe even some programming related skills as well. Number three on the list is going to be aerospace science slash aerospace studies. This is gonna be one of the few degrees that is the exception to the rule that I told you guys where you don't pursue anything that has the word studies in it. And this is basically the major that you would pursue if you want to be a rocket scientist. So aerospace studies, you can expect to make around $50,000 a year starting out and mid-career pay is $130,000. Now this is one of these careers where you gotta be careful because you might be pigeonholing yourself just a little bit. You're literally going to be trying to become like a rocket scientist. So you might end up working for like Elon Musk with SpaceX or NASA or maybe Jeff Bezos with Blue Origin. And there's not that many rocket scientists out there. So the closest career that I could find to what you would be doing would be aerospace engineering. Aerospace engineers make around $160,000 thousand dollars a year there's 66,000 jobs available it's growing at three percent which means there's going to be about two thousand jobs that pop up in the next 10 years next one on the list is going to be actuarial science or actuarial mathematics now with this one you're going to be using mathematical and statistical methods to assess risk usually in the finance industry now with this degree you can expect to make around sixty one thousand dollars a year starting out and then mid-career pay is going to be around a hundred and thirty thousand according to BLS actuaries make on average about $108,000 a year. There's 27,000 jobs available and it's growing at 18%, which is fantastic, meaning there's about 5,000 jobs popping up in the next 10 years. Now with this one, it has the problem of kind of pigeonholing you just a little bit. You only want to major in actuarial science if you're 100% sure that you want to be an actuary. The reason for this is because you could probably just major in like mathematics or something like that and then just take some extra actuary classes and some extra statistics classes and also become an actuary, whereas it doesn't necessarily work the other way around. But overall, this is a very practical one. There's not that many people who graduate with a degree, so that could be kind of throwing off the statistics just a little bit. But number one on this list is going to be petroleum engineering slash all kinds of different engineering related degrees. So there are a ton of different engineering related degrees out there and they tend to pay extremely well. Now the highest paying out of all of them is gonna be petroleum engineering. So this one is gonna be all about taking oil from the earth, crude oil, and it's gonna go all the way through the process where people can actually put it in their gas tank. There's actually a lot of math related to that. You'd think there wasn't, but there's actually a lot of math behind that. And that's why they have a specific degree related to petroleum engineering. And that's why I put it on this list because engineering in general is going to have quite a bit of math in it. Now with this degree, you can expect to make a whopping $92,000 a year right after graduating. And then mid-career pay is an insane $182,000. According to BLS, petroleum engineers make $137,000 a year. There's 33,000 jobs available and it's growing at 3%, which is on the lower side of being as fast as average. That means over the next 10 years, there's going to be about 1,100 jobs that open up. Now, there's a lot to be said about this one, to be honest. Many people think that this is going to be a dying industry. It's going to be going away within the next 10, 20 years. It's also very volatile, and really any career that's within the energy industry is going to be pretty volatile. And what I mean by that is a war, a policy change, some kind of new law, some kind of new regulation. All of these different types of things could end up completely changing the industry, and thousands and thousands thousands of people could lose their jobs. This actually happened in 2014 when the prices of oil dropped and they had to lay off thousands of people. With that being said, on the other side of things, there's lots of baby boomers who've been working in this industry for decades that are gonna be retiring soon. And that means a lot of jobs are gonna open up as well. Now I've done a ton of research on this, trying to figure out how valid these claims are. And in my personal opinion, I don't think this is gonna be going away in the next 10 years. Again, I'm not saying whether this is a good thing or a bad thing, but I just don't think that we're anywhere near being able to get to a point where we don't need to use natural gases. Just want to remind everybody there's a super exciting project that I've been working on. It's going to be in the description below and basically I 
am ranking most of the common degrees that people ask about all the time on this channel. It's been this project that I've been working on for months. I even brought someone on. I hired someone to help me with it because it was such a big project and I wanted to do it the right way. And basically it's going to be the most accurate ranking of different college degrees that has ever been created. As of the recording of this video, it's in version 1.1 and you can check that out down in the description below. It's gonna be my Patreon. If you haven't done it already, go ahead and gently tap the like button, hit the subscribe button, ring the notification bell, comment down below any thoughts, comments, criticisms, etc. that you have on the video. And whatever you do, don't forget to check out my other videos right here because I made them just for you.